Uh, welcome to You Can Do It Again. Um, so, muffler mods. This is a, we're rebuilding a 357. I was going on a 357 XP. And I'm waiting for bits for that. So, in the meantime, I will do a muffler mod on this. Now, I've got some other videos out there for a 372 muffler mod. <clears throat> From that, I've learned, learned a few things. I'm going to try something slightly different with this mud, muffler mod. As in, it'll make it slightly easier to uh, modify. So first of all, as I've learned, so I'm going to drill these out, this one, this one, and this one, while it's all still together. And then I'm going to cut along there on the top side. So let me mount that. Um, this is actually for a, from the skis, but it'll actually do because it'll hold it. So I'm just going to hold that in there. And then we're going to sort of drill out those because they're actually welded as is that one. Now the reason that we're drilling that out now is because once this thing all gets cut up a bit it all sort of starts it's very uh, flimsy and you can't then drill that out until soldered or welded welded or brazed back up. So what I'm going to do now is drill that and that and that out. I use one of these on the drill go down there there and there. So let me mount that to the drill and I'll be back. Yeah, so I used that. You see, I've drilled that one out. I've drilled down there and there. I don't want to go too far down there and there because otherwise it's not going to give me much to uh, to weld or braze braze back up. So now what we're going to do? I'm just going to take this outside so I don't make too much noise. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to slice down there with my angle grinder along that edge. So let me go outside. Crack on with that. Okay, we're outside, so look, I've got my, my thin blade on the angle grinder and I'm just going to run around there and cut through that. See, it took a couple of seconds to do that one. Okay, look, I've cut all the way through there, all the way around. And it's, so it's, it's still connected there and there. I just need to drill in a little bit more there. So I'll leave that there, get my drill, I'll be back. Okay, look, that comes off there now, look. It was running just about right this saw, it wasn't too dirty. So um, now what we're going to do is we're going to cut cut this out here. Now what I did last time was I, I cut, I'll show you what I did on the other one, I also cut, I cut around there and then that basically takes everything out and then you have to cut around there but I'm just going to see what I can do with without doing that because that, what that does is then shorten when you put this back on, when you put that back on there, it shortens the exhaust. So you have to make you have to make spaces for here. But let me have a, let me get on and see how I get on with that. Okay, we're back inside. You can see I, I cut with the angle grinder around that, around that. And in the end, actually, I took um, I cut the the other uh, strip off like I did in the other video. That will fit back on there like that nicely. Yeah, and then I can. Um, raise that back up just to save time cut once down around the the edge of that um it was like a little seam and then cut the other side around it don't go too close to it obviously because you you can see the profile of this if you go too close you'll end up way too short here when you're trying to bring these two back together so now what i'm going to do look i've got that out look now what you've got to be really careful here is you haven't got any little bits that are going to break off and get sucked back into the piston because you'll, you'll end up scoring and marking your pistons. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to be careful because I'll just cut myself. <laughs> so on here particularly, I haven't done it. Look, you see, look, you've got a bit there, look. If that gets caught and goes back into the piston, you're going to be in a right mess. So what I'm going to do now is just take that little burr, burr I've got on, on my uh, drill and I'm just going to go around there and just clean that up just so there's no, no bits to go. And then uh, we'll be ready to start actually braiding this back together again. So give me five minutes to clean that up. Okay, with, with a combination of the drill and some files, look, I, uh, I've, cleaned, I've, I've cleaned all that up. This one particularly is all nice and clean. Look at that. What we're gonna do now, I've decided, I'm gonna get that the right way around. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna connect this together. Now look, here. 
One of those is perfect. This one I, I drilled out a little bit too much, but that one's perfect. So I can just run some. So what I'm going to do quickly, because I now need to, to drill that out to get a nice round hole to put my... The idea is I'm going to put an outlet that goes sort of like that. Um, that will distort if I try and do that just loose like that. So I'm going to just tack, tack braze this all together. Just put a few tacks on it just to, to get it all secure. And then I'll drill that and get that right. And then we can brace the whole thing up together. Because it takes a bit of heat, so when, once it's all hot, I might as well just brace it all at once. Okay, so now, I get my brazing rod out of my, uh, um, it's actually just a plumber's torch, Rothenberg high temperature plumber's torch, and I'll just try and tack that, tack weld that, tack braze it even. Okay. There you are. That's that little corner there done. I say it's just to tack it. I'll give you a better angle on this side. Just pop really quickly. I'll just do this, then I'll get the wire, wire brush around and clean it all up. Then the, when I do the major one, it'll um, seal lovely. So that's another tack there. I'm not going to make the mistake that I did. Look at that. Nice burn. When <laughs> I picked it up before. Nice burn there from when I picked it up. I'll let that cool down. More from impatient. I've just used the flapper wheel on the angle grinder just to clean these surfaces up. So uh, I'm just going to put a tack on on this side now. solid one there on that side. We'll do that corner as well. There we are. Now what we've got to worry about, while she's warm, while she's warm, I want to just do these little holes in here. This one's fine because I... Okay, that's all done now. It's all been soldered up. I just quickly use a flapper wheel there just to take any little points off. But that's that's looking good. So now I've actually found something. I've got a one of these. It was just one of the cheap one that was just chucked in a kit. That'll do perfectly in there. It's galvanized. I'm gonna to have to quickly grind off the galvanized coating, but only has to, only has to be on the inside uh, on the outside because I'm not welding on the inside. So um, what we're going to do is I'm going to make that hole a little bit bigger. 
and we'll be able to get this in. Okay, we've drilled that a bit bigger, but that fits in there nicely. So I'm now going to try and get that positioned. So I'm going to go outside now and just uh, grind off this casing on here so I can then raise it. But um, interesting, I don't quite know whether, how to uh, actually have the internal. I can have the pipe right out there like that inside or just have a little bit sticking out on the end. I think I'm just going to go like that. So let me go outside and get the grind on it. Okay, a bit of a time sped up, but anyway, I've I cut that, I stuck it in, soldered it up, and uh, I don't know if you can see in there. Yeah, you can see there, look, there it is on the, on the end there, look, you can see there. I, I, I left those two holes in the end, actually, I thought it was quite interesting. So it's all experimental. So I cut it on a bit of a chamfer so the gases won't go straight out. And then it's uh, modeled like that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray that up with a exhaust spray. Black and then that's all ready. So we've, uh, that's how to do a modded muffler for a 357 XP. But you can use that. I mean, I've used it for the three, uh, 372 as well. So hopefully that's helped someone. Um, I haven't seen any videos that cut these open. They all start from scratch with something else, but I like to keep it looking pretty standard and just make it a bit free flowing. I'll leave this at the moment, but uh, once the saw's all built up, I'll start it up and you can hear what it sounds like. But that is how to do your quick uh, muffler mod. Um, <clears throat> what did it take me? Half an hour to drill that, that, cut it out an angle, grind it out, and then probably again half an hour to it's also an hour. I've just sprayed that up with an old tin of I see that's engine that's engine paint. Looks quite nice. That that'll dull down. <clears throat> Next stage is me to fit that. Okay, now we'll start putting this in. um as I say because I've modified the exhaust look, we've got a space there, so I've I've made up some uh, little brackets there that will go in there. That's all mounted on there, look. But those spaces have worked work really nicely, but it doesn't matter what you make off. They're about it depends on how, how much you've taken out when you when you weld up the exhaust. But they're they're about a centimetre, eleven millimetres. Um, but that's also uh, that's totally solid on there now. Um don't obviously not put spaces in there, just crank that up because you'll end up um splitting the exhaust or or doing some damage here or bending your bolts. So make sure you make those spaces. So that's basically the bit that you have to do if you've done the mod obviously and you've cut that bit out there you must put these spaces in here now I actually used the long bolts that went in there and there I put the long bolts in there, and then I put the short bolts in there and there and I'll get some longer bolts for here at a later time okay so let's go outside and see what she sounds like really windy at the moment okay so now we'll start her up um, pull her out let's give her a pull I'll push her in. That's, that's the sound of the new exhaust. the side of the door okay guys so that is the sound of the new exhaust that sounds beautiful it picks up really well I mean I haven't fully tuned it for, for cutting wood yet but that uh, as you can hear it starts up I mean that's been sitting on the desk for about a week yeah and uh, it started up pretty much straight away so um, all good look at the nice new exhaust there let's see it start once more time put it on You can do it. Hope this video has helped, or this series of videos have helped. If you like the, the channel, subscribe. If you've got any questions or anything or comments, send me a comment. You can do it. <laughs>